All right, welcome to our training. So I, I've decided to make this training dedicated to you guys who have um, just recently gotten an email from your coach indicating that your site has been completed and it's been designed and set up and now uh, we're sort of ready for you to take over and start learning the software and um, making step towards getting the website launched. Um, so at, at this point, you've likely been sent an email with some login information to your website, as well as a link to it so you can review it. So I just wanna make a few suggestions and we're just gonna write them down one by one here so you kind of have a game plan because the minute the site gets designed, it doesn't necessarily mean it's ready to go and launched. It just means that the site has been designed and set up and there's a few other steps that need to be completed before we can feel comfortable launching the website and trying to make money off of it, okay? So um, I guess first things first, in most cases, um, you're going to have a survey that is gonna come along with your site. So I'm gonna ask you to fill out the survey, okay? So your coach will send you some kind of a survey. Uh, if they don't, remind them to do it. And once you get that survey, we want you to fill it out. Really, this is an opportunity for you to um, give our web design uh, department some feedback on how you like the site. How do you like the color scheme? How do you like the look of the site? Um, you feel like it was done professionally. And by and large, the, the feedback is always very, very positive. Um, but if there is issues or problems with the design, when you look at the site, you think, oh, you know, I really don't like this or that, or I think something needs to be changed. Nothing is set in stone, and we're happy to make some of those changes. So we want you to fill out the survey. You, we want you to give our, our designers some feedback and let them know how they did, and then we'll correct any changes as well. Also, you'll want to talk to your coach about any changes you feel like need to be made on the website. So I, I guess I should say, maybe even not even call this one, I would say, number one, review the website, right? Look at it, click around on it. You should have the link for it. And then number two, fill out the survey, okay? So let's have you start that way. Um, number three, we want you to log in. Log into the administrative section. We call this the dashboard of Volusion. Now you do that through your website, right? And, and there'll be some instructions there in the email for you so you can go in and, and log into the admin. Um, on a lot of the websites that we do, and let me see if I've got one that I can bring up here so you guys can look at it. Let me, let me first log out of this account. This is, this is just a sort of a, a dummy template site. So, but regardless, like most websites at the very bottom, once they get done, they have some sort of like a my account or a login section that you'll want to click on. So when you go there, find the my account or the login section and click on it, um, which is precisely what I'll do right now. And it'll take you to this screen right here and this is where you're gonna log in as a, it's, it, as a returning customer and your login information should be given to you from the coach, you log in there and that's gonna, that's gonna end up taking you to the dashboard. Um, we, we are gonna give you a training that, that's gonna show you around the, the Volusion software so that you know how to do this effectively. I, I won't do that today necessarily. Although, well, maybe I'll just do it real quick. I'll log in with my, my login information and usually it'll take you to a, 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 a My Account section and then I come right over here, I click on this. You see that little blue, this right here? Okay, we're gonna click on that and that's gonna create a little fly out menu. Then you're gonna put your mouse over the three white dots here at the top and you're gonna select Dashboard, okay? That's how you get to the dashboard. We'll show you that in another training. Okay. So anyway, we want you to log in. I guess that, that was a really long way of saying, I want you to log in and, and you can get in, you can go in there and start getting familiar with Volusion for sure. Um, clicking around, trying to get a feel for the software. Like you can watch countless webinars on this thing, but until you get in and try it a little bit, it's going to be hard to learn. The other thing I'm going to say is please don't, don't be worried that you're going to break something. Uh, likely you won't. And if you do, we're certainly happy to fix that. So. Please, please take the the initiative to get logged in and, and to start using the software, okay? 
All right. So the, your first big assignment once you get your site back is we want to add 100 to 150 products, new products onto the site. Okay. That's that's the that's the first big thing. And the reason why we give you this number is usually once your site gets built, it's got a few products on it. Likely, they're, they're probably just products that the designers added from Amazon just to give it a little bit of structure and to make sure that it wasn't blank, right? Like when you pay for web design with our team, you're not really paying for them to add tons and tons of products. And, and the reason why we do it that way, I guess we could do that, but it would increase the, the price significantly. And we feel like we can just have our clients you know, add their own products without having to pay a bunch of extra money and fees to have somebody else do it because it's very easy to do. Plus, all that experience you got on eBay is likely going to serve you well because I think Volusion adding products is much easier than eBay. So I want us to start with 100 to 150. Obviously, you can do many more and it doesn't cost you to do more like it does on eBay. Ultimately, you can do as many as you'd like, but we think 100 to 150 is sufficient at least for now so that you can focus on getting your site launched and then we can go back and you can work on add, adding more products as you go. The, the story I always tell my clients is this. I had a client once that had a supplier that had somewhere in the neighborhood of 10,000 products, unique products, 10,000 of them. And before he wanted to move forward onto the next step to get it launched, he decided that he was going to add every single one to his site first. Okay. And, you know, we tried to persuade him against that, and he decided no matter what, that's what he was going to do. So he worked on product adding for six months, got burned out, and never completed the site, right? What a waste. Instead, he could have added a selection, 100 to 150, launched the site, started to market, started to get some money coming in, and then slowly added the rest of his inventory. That's what we're going to suggest to you guys, okay? Now, how do you go about adding the products? Well, We'll pinpoint the training that'll show you how to do that. If your question is, well, where do I get my products? I, I don't, I'm not official with any of my wholesale drop shipping suppliers. Can I just suggest use Amazon, learn off of Amazon? There's no reason why you can't go into Amazon and grab some products and load them up onto your site. You can keep them long-term or just simply use that as a bridge to, to fill in some space on your site while you wait for your wholesale suppliers to become active. Whatever you do, don't sit back and wait because sometimes wholesale suppliers take a little longer to, to get activated. So I would rather see you at least get something on your site so that you can move forward. Okay, 100 to 150 products, we can certainly help you with that. All right, um, number five, add categories as you see fit. Okay, in order to accommodate 100 to 150 products, you may need to add a few extra categories, um, but you'll just have to decide. So there's no firm rules on this. I, I usually argue if you get a category that gets more than 30 or 40 products in it, you may want to consider adding another category or maybe even a subcategory, and we'll train you on how to do that. But whatever we do, we want to make sure the site, the site stays clean and organized and you know, you're not overwhelming the, the user of the site. You know, if you've got a category on your site for, you know, say home decor, but within your home decor category, you've got 60 products, maybe you can ha keep the home decor category, but you can create three or four sub menus that will fit those category or those products and organize them a little bit better, right? There's no hard and fast rules on how we do this. You just have to look at your website objectively and say, does it feel organized? Can people find stuff very easily? And if they can, then great. If they can't, we may want to consider creating and adding more categories, okay? Um, a lot of times the developers have added some categories in already. So you could just fill those up with your 100 to 150 products and then later on add more categories as you go, okay? Next thing, we want you to do your info pages, okay? And I'm going to put this in quotes. So I can explain what that means. That would be your about us, contact us, shipping and returns, okay? Usually these pages are found in the footer section of a site. If we bring that other site that we're working on here back up, 
the footer section would be this section. You see how I scroll down to the bottom? This would be considered a footer. So we want to make sure you've got contact us, about us, shipping and returns there filled out. Now, if, the, if those pages aren't there, we've got trainings that can show you how to get them there, or you can talk to your coach about it and we can help you with them. Um, we've got trainings that show you what kind of content go on there. Now, the developers likely created a few of those pages, but they don't know your shipping policy because they don't know your suppliers. They don't know your About Us page because they don't know you. They don't know what kind of contact information to put on the site, um, right? They don't know your return policy. So that's all stuff we want you to add into the site. It's very simple to add that in. We'll show you how to do it. But those four pages really need to be done because those are going to be pages that likely – you know, are going to get clicked on by users and customers there on your site, okay? All right. Let's go back to our notes. And stop me and ask questions if, if some of this doesn't make sense. The, the, like the specifics of how to do these, we will make sure we include some trainings for you. I just want to give you high level what you can expect. Um, number seven. Set up, set up your sales tax on your site. Literally, this will take you five minutes once you watch the training on it. It's really easy to do, take you just a matter of minutes. Um, sales tax is something that you have to think about because for most of you, most of you have sales tax in your state and you have, if you have sales tax in your state, you're required by law to collect sales tax on your website any anytime somebody from within your state buys from you. So we'll want to make sure we have our our sales tax page all set up and it automatically will uh, charge customers. We just have to set it up and it takes five minutes to do it. So no big deal. That's a quick and easy one. Um, the next one is payment setup on your site. PayPal, credit cards, etc. We want you to do that to set up your payment. Um, and we've got a training on that. That will obviously, right? Of course. I mean, we want people to be able to pay and then we want you to run a test order and all that means is you have somebody yourself or, or otherwise a family member or friend get onto your site and actually order something and and try it um, you don't have to fulfill the order through your supplier you just have to have them go to the site buy something place the order and and then watch what happens after that you should get an order confirmation money should go into your PayPal account or, or your checking account so on and so forth. You just want to make sure everything runs smoothly and you get to see how that works before you get a real customer. We have a training on how to do a test order. Okay. Then uh, we have a final coach review, which means um, email your coach to review your site before launch. Okay. And as long as these steps are done, you can have your coach do a final review. Just email them about, about it. They'll open up your site, make sure everything's looking good, make sure everything's been done right, and uh, and then they'll okay the uh, the launch of the site. Okay. Okay. Um, then number eleven, you launch. Now let me let me explain something about launching a site because this gets confusing for a lot of my clients. There's not an official launch button that you push. There's not some big launch event that takes place. What I always say is once all of these steps through 10 have been completed, congratulations, you've launched your website. It's ready for customers. And that's, that's all launch means. When you launch your site, it just means, okay, I'm ready to get people here. But people don't just come. It's not the if you build it, they will come mentality, right? Like if it's built and done, it doesn't mean – people are going to find it. You have to be proactive and do some things for marketing. So number 12, that means once, once launch is complete, and what did we say launch is? Launch means one through 10 is done. That means you've launched your site. Number 12 then is email or talk to your coach about first marketing assignment. Okay. Likely that'll include something about keyword research, SEO, link building, blogging, social media, paid advertising, 
and more. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's, that's beyond the scope of what we're going to talk about today. But, but that, that's when you're launched, like you're launched when you start doing marketing, when you start doing these marketing assignments, that's always so confusing to my clients. They think that, you know, they're not launched when they're doing their keyword research or their SEO. Well, you are, if you can, if you can say with confidence, I want traffic and visitors to my site because I'm ready for them, then you're launched. Okay. I hope that makes sense, but that's it. That's the game plan. And to give you guys a time frame on that. It seems like a lot of stuff here. It's really not. I would say the vast majority of my clients, after they've been emailed their site and it's been designed correctly and ready to go, this stuff right here may take you one or two weeks. Maybe a, a full, a solid full week on product adding, and then maybe a week on the other stuff. You can do this all in two weeks, and then be working on on marketing from then, uh, from there on out. Okay. Now, if you need help on any of these steps, of course, I've got trainings and, and things that I'll show you on all of them. But, um, you know, you can also call our staff, 877-867-8239, in case uh, a coach isn't around or, or your coach isn't around. So if I'm not around, I'm your coach, you need help with something, make sure you get in touch with our staff. But by and large, your coach wants to help you. I want to help you. Um, because I'm primarily responsible for you. So let's let's work together on this stuff and then use this uh, more as a as a last resort if need be. Okay. So this is this is ultimately your game plan. It, your site's been designed. What do you do? You move on through these steps. One through twelve here. And and I really feel like you can at least get to the launch one through eleven within a couple of weeks. Now if it takes you longer, you haven't failed don't beat yourself up. It does take a lot of our clients a little bit longer because there's sometimes a learning curve for you. Others pick it right up. So I, I, I don't know. You'll have to try it and we'll watch you and see. Um, but don't be discouraged if it takes you longer than a few weeks. Um, that's, that's somewhat common. It's true of some of our clients for sure. So you're not on an island, but the goal should be two weeks, maybe three weeks tops, and then we're working on marketing. Okay. You won't be an expert on Volusion, but I can tell you if you'll commit to trying to get to our weekly live trainings and uh, you'll work hard on this and you'll commit to working with your coach as needed, you should be able to get it done. Okay. So if, if you're not someone who paid to have your site designed, then a lot of the design work you'll be working on with our help, you know, you'll be, you'll be talking to your coach about it. But this, today's training was more about you, you had paid somebody to do your design. It got done. Now here's what you do. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching this and I hope that provides you a little extra perspective on how the next few weeks will, will go. Hope you enjoy your site and uh, we will see you next time.